In today's video, we're going to show you how to make tamarind chutney. Also known as saunt, this chutney is a perfect blend of sweet and sour and goes really well with fried snacks and street food. One of the main ingredients in this tamarind chutney is tamarind. We usually buy this block of seedless tamarind, but you can also buy tamarind concentrate that comes in a jar. Tamarind is the fruit of the tamarind tree. And this block is made up of the pulp of the tamarind fruit. Depending on the variety, the tamarind fruit can be sweet, sour or semi-sour. But usually the tamarind that we use in India for cooking is the sour variety. In texture, tamarind is quite sticky and resembles the consistency of dates. To use this sort of block tamarind, we usually put some in a bowl and then cover it with hot water to make sort of a tamarind juice or paste, similar to the kind of stuff you would buy in a jar. However, we prefer to buy this block of tamarind because it's more concentrated and because it's so sour, it doesn't really go bad and you can store it indefinitely. Once the tamarind pulp and hot water mixture has cooled down a little bit, we're gonna strain it out. Even though the package said it was seedless, there's still a lot of veins and fibers in the pulp. After steeping in hot water, it could be that the tamarind mixture thickens quite a lot, in which case feel free to add some extra water to extract as much pulp as possible. Once you're done, it should look something like this. Now let's move on to the spices. First of which is going to be half a teaspoon of cumin seeds that we're crushing in a mortar and pestle to create a coarse or rough powder that looks something like this. Next, we're going to put together the spice blend that flavors this tamarind chutney, starting with half a teaspoon of fennel seeds that we're going to coarsely grind in the mortar and pestle. To the crushed fennel seeds, we're adding one teaspoon of dried ginger powder, also known as salt, which is an ingredient you can often find at Turkish grocery stores. Next goes in half a teaspoon of dried mango powder, as well as half a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. Another typical ingredient for this chutney is black salt or kala namak. Now we know that this is an acquired taste and if you're like Petrik and don't like kala namak, you can use regular salt as well. Final ingredient is a pinch of garam masala and your spice blend is ready. Now give everything a good mix and we're ready to cook. Heat up a saucepan on medium heat. Once it's hot, Add in one teaspoon of a neutral flavored cooking oil. Once the oil is hot and glistening, add in one eighth of a teaspoon of hing or asafoetida, followed by the cumin seeds that we crushed earlier. And then add in half a cup of jaggery, which is raw unrefined cane sugar. We're also adding in the tamarind pulp that we made, as well as one fourth of a cup of sugar. If you cannot find jaggery where you live, you can also substitute it with brown sugar instead. Immediately mix everything together to make sure that the sugars don't burn. Add in the spice blend that we prepared, as well as one fourth of a cup of water. You can add more or less water to the chutney, depending on the consistency you're looking out for. Once the mixture comes to a simmer, that's it, your chutney is ready. You can bottle the chutney in sterilized glass jars while it's still hot to extend its shelf life and store it in the fridge for months to come. Serve the chutney cold or at room temperature and enjoy it with your favorite snacks like samosas, pakoras or chaat. That's it for today's video folks. We really hope that you enjoyed making this quick and easy chutney with us. And in our next video, we're going to show you how to use the tamarind chutney from today's video as well as a coriander and mint chutney from our previous video to make a quick, crunchy and delicious street food snack. So see you next time.